Oh! Oh my! So that's the true power of the White Demon of Death. You so easily struck at my weak points. And after I trained so hard to cover them up too. I, Blockhead, submit to defeat. Still, I am the shadowy ruler of Oni Island. Do not dishonor me, at least in my honor of death. I shall succumb to oblivion with honor. Oh man, what is going on everybody and welcome to part 107 of my playthrough for Okami. That was a tough challenge, that I, that took me quite some time to actually get right because that is easily the toughest. We haven't seen a blockhead for a long time actually. I can't remember the last time we saw a blockhead. Man, that was that was a tricky spot to put him in. That was not easy. All those points being really precise and you know how we are with precise with the Wiimote. Oh, and look who's waiting for at the top. But yeah, that was a, that was a pretty solid tricky challenge. Didn't take me, you know, so long that I got mad, but just enough. Yeah, poor, poor guy too. I like the design of Blockhead. They're a cool enemy, honestly. I am indeed no match for you, good sir. Your eyes, ever focused on tomorrow, have led you to the climax. Of course, I do not mean our pretty little race. Oh, my warrior who seeks the castle's summit on Oni Island, the true climax of your adventure is close at hand. Toby never felt so much competitive fire until you, good sir. Though I cannot join you, I shall send you off with a final dash. Scrap? All right, good sir. Now, for the race to end all of them. Make it one that I shall never forget. Oh man, I'm liking Toby, dude. Toby's a cool little piece of paper. All right, so what, are we, what, are, what does he want us to do? What? Uh, that was a terrible cherry bomb. Oh, Toby didn't even, he was like not amused. Can we get up there? No, 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 ah. Okay, not that that was that bad of a jump, but all the same. All right, probably we're not supposed to get up there. Maybe we have to use the lightning? Huh. Um. Huh. I'm a little bit stumped. I think we might have to put a cherry bomb over there. And there might be a blossom or something. That's my best guess. Alright, put it right there. It didn't even register, did it? Come on, right there. Okay. Let's go see what that did. Uh, okay, yep, I was right. Alright, let's do this, Toby. Sling me over to it. I said sling me over to it. Cool. Go, go. Ooh. Truly amazing, good sir. I am so glad we could part like this. I hope my final dash pleased you, good sir. <laughs> you're not half bad for a scrap of paper. And even though you're an enemy, I guess I should commend you. I feel so very fortunate to have such a great man as yourself witness my final moment. Hey, hey, scrap! Why are you talking like you're about to vanish any second? I have violated the precepts, and shall thus be erased. So, it is I who must bid you a farewell. I shall now accept my fate for abandoning my duty as gatekeeper. You, you mean... Oh, don't be sorry for me, good sir. This was the life of my own choosing. I treasured it, and no one can ever take that away from me. Though I may have been born a mere servant of the spirits, I should at least be allowed to do what I please at my passing. For otherwise, my life would have been in vain. I fear I shall not be able to guide you the rest of the way. I wish I had a bouquet of flowers to present to you at this farewell. But alas, I must part with you, empty-handed. Please forgive me. Farewell, good sir. And good luck.
Toby. It was more than a petty little race. Perhaps I wouldn't even have gotten this far without you. With that true spirit of competition you showed me, I can now face the biggest challenge of my life so far. Oh man, that's really sad. Like, I was really starting to like this little guy. He was just, it's, see this is how you know this is a good game, when you make you care about, like, that was a piece of paper. I mean, that was a little piece of paper, some random nonchalant little not enemy in the game, you know what I mean? And we care about him, like, oh man, I was really liking him. It's, honestly, I know it was a little piece of paper, but that was probably one of my favorite characters in the game right up there with Susano and Isu. And Waka. Oh man, Toby. We need a moment of silence for him, just... Okay. We won't let him down. We got so many people not to let down. Oh man. This looks big. This is ominous. You know something's gonna go down. Yeah, they don't put golden gates there for no reason. God, I feel like I'm walking up to like, you remember in Wind Waker, the first time you walk up in Forsaken Fortress, like it's all dark, it's like, oh man. This is it. This is it, guys. You feel that weird vibe this place has given off on me? It may be quiet now, but I've got a major case of the creeps. I know she's watching us from the shadows. She's ready to strike at any moment. You ready, Ami? Oh, we're ready. Excellent. I can't wait to cut loose and go berserk. Let's teach that fox-headed wench a lesson. Let's do it. Well? Looks like we finally reached the top of the castle. Now, where's that fox-headed wench hiding? The Great Eastern's gonna avenge Queen Himiko. Constellation? Here? I can't believe it could shine in such an evil place. So, Amaterasu, you have crept into my castle like a sneaky little mouse, have you? By the power of Yami, ruler of the Land of Darkness, I, Ninetales, have been made Lord of Ryashima Coast. You needn't have come all this way just for me to kill you. I would have found you and done so just the same. Just like I did Queen Himiko. Yami, Land of Darkness, never heard of either of them. And I don't remember ever giving you my okay to rule Ryoshima Coast. Yami is the absolute ruler of all evil beings. He is the ultimate symbol of darkness. And he is nothing like those false gods of your fairy tales. False gods? You're the one going around pretending to be a priestess and building fishy hideouts like this. We're gonna expose you for what you are once and for all. <laughs> we shall see, old furry one. Prepare to face the wrath of my terrible power. 
a power far beyond your so-called gods. Oh man, this is big. This is epic. The Nine Tails. All right, we're gonna show him what's up. We're gonna avenge Queen Himiko. Oh god, but not like that. We're not. Okay. Um, fire. Whoa, did you see that? Oh man, the Nine Tails can use brush techniques too. Crud, did you? S no, I don't think so. We'll show you who the real brush god is here. It's not going down so easy. Brush technique versus brush technique. Ooh. Uh. Well, look at that. Fancy weapon you got there. I like that weapon. Oh, and we all break off into little foxes, do we? Oh, that's so creepy with, like, the brush, like, as if there's another player there. Oh my god, it's a whole bunch of, like, rouse! Oh no! Oh no, I'm getting comboed! Gotta break free! Gotta use... It didn't work! That guy, you saw that, that was perfect. Come on! There we go. Now they can't even touch me! Yeah! How's that feel, guys? Oh, it doesn't feel too good, does it? That's for Queen Himiko! Oh man, this fight is just, this gets good. You know what we need? We need infinity. What are we doing? We gotta buff ourselves. We need to, uh, increase attack power. And we need infi in <laughs> infinity. Infinity. Ring it on, Ninetales. Uh, where's the, oh jeez. Whoa! What did that just X out our ink? Like, it X'd out our ink, but we have infinite ink. That was interesting. Uh, you think I can do anything to it when it's like this? Oh man, it's so cool, because when you have yours up, it takes the risk of him using his. That's so cool, I really like that. Oh man! There I go, trying to use a dodge technique. Alright, can we hit him now? Oh man, you gotta be quick! This is so cool, I like this, it's like a challenge to the brush techniques. Oh, you make it too easy, Ninetales. Oh, this is so cool. I like this kind of fight. <laughs> is that like a fat row? That's great. Alright, where's my technique? There it is. Come on, come at me. Come at me, girls. <laughs> oh, yes. Oh, you see that damage? You see that damage? Sweet. Oh ho! This is so epic. Like this is this is like I have to draw these fast. I gotta be quick about this. I'm liking this. I really am. Oh no, you don't. Oh, it didn't work. I think he's in invulnerable. Darn. Oh yeah, this is so awesome! Ooh. Like I'm loving this. Like the battle music is good. This is just so cool. Come on, then Nine Tails, you want to do that crazy attack again? My sword is cool for the record. That's what I want you to do. Play right into my trap. You see his brush techniques too? Like he has different ones. That's so cool. I really like that. That's awesome. Yeah, come on, come on, run at me, right? Oh, uh, we've like we have almost all the powers of the brush gods now. So we are really powerful. Maybe I should be focusing on one at a time. Though this kind of just covers my whole basis, so. Oh shit. Oh god! Oh no. Nine tails, you don't really have uh, nine tails anymore, you're more like four tails. <laughs> or the wuss tails. 
Or any other clever pun I couldn't come up with right now. <laughs> Wish we could roar back at him. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Dodge, Ami, dodge. Whoa! Oh! Oh, Ninetales, you're making this too easy. Get a little bit of health. Up our attack power. Infinity, or, uh... Ugh. There we go, come on. Go for the main one. Can we go for the main one? That's Maybe that's the one we should be going for? No. Go for the little ones. Beat them up! They're down! Kick them while they're down! Yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Combo! Everything the Master taught us. Come on! Come on! Oh! I got that off just in time. Hit him! Ami! Nice! One left. Oh, two to go. Two to go. Come on. Come on. Yeah, you can look flashy all day. Go for it. Oh! Oh! Oh, you, you know what I just realized? In hindsight, it actually makes sense that there were probably nine little mini rows of different shapes, and Nine Tails has been losing its tail slowly, and there's only two left, so he only has two tails. <laughs> I'm observant. This is so cool. Like, I'm just really getting into this. Yeah! Now what, Ninetales? Yes! <laughs> Things aren't looking too good for you, are they? I don't think they are. Not so impressive anymore, are you? No, nope, just a beat up little fox. Which is actually kind of cool because it's sort of the way how when we lose ink we just become a white wolf and he's lost his power so now he's just a regular fox. I really like these parallels between me and the Ninetales, kind of interesting. Though he did just get a whole new health bar and I can't remember the last time I lost all my powers and got a brand new health bar. Oh you walked on that, come on now. The cherry bomb death perception there is not too good, is it? <laughs> He's just sitting in the wall. Oh gosh. I should probably shouldn't mock him. He's fairly strong. And I'm actually in danger of running out of uh, holy bones. Alright, next time we get him into the... Uh, oh, woo, how do we miss? How did he miss? There he is. Okay, go for it, go for it, go for it. Right here. Big one. Exorcism slip. L. Oh. I'll give you credit, Ninetales. You're pretty resilient. He's got some moves. I'm liking him. And could this be a more epic battlefield? I mean, really. He wanted a big battlefield? We gave him one. Useless, just unaffected. Go for it. Another one. No holding back on you, Ninetales. This is it, Ninetales. It's all over. It all ends here. Your evil reign of terror ends now. For all the people you hurt. For Rao. And this is for Queen Himiko!
you obtain Divine Instrument, Blade of Kusagagi. Jagged Edged Glaive, obtained upon defeating Ninetales. Himiko's death had been avenged. Amaterasu's tendency had proven too much for the Ninetales. The fearsome beast lay defeated, its true nature laid bare for all to see. In death, it was reduced to no more than a tired old box. Oni Island, pinning from the masters, raised a din and began to crumble. Like a furaway offering, it scattered into flowers. Otomi, who had transformed into the water dragon, returned to the dragon palace, her role fulfilled. Nine Tails, monstrous countenance, removed from its master, moved skyward, transforming into a wisp of pure and utter blackness. There it joined the spirits of its defeated master. Even Blight showed up, lending a hand to the fallen Nine Tails. Pulsing and udulating, they intertwined in midair. Then, the black mass moved toward the land to the extreme north. Four such blackened spirits emerged from Orochi's corpse. Perhaps these two were off to join the remaining brethren. Left behind were Ninetale's words about the Dark Lord, Yami. Could it be that this formidable creature resonated to the north? Amaterasu, sensing a dark presence, trembled. The diminutive Isu, who had accompanied Amaterasu bravely, felt a tinge of hesitation in his heart, for he had predicted that the journey would end with all 13 powers were restored. With only one power remaining, a teeny frown creased his face. At any rate, their next target was waiting in the frozen north. Their adventure was far from over. No time to rest on your laurels, Ami. Defeating Ninetales didn't bring Himiko back. But at least you can send her spirit off with a heroic howl.